With only eight days left in the legislative session, state senators have introduced a hate crimes bill in the legislature. The question is whether it can actually pass before the legislature adjourns in the next few days. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more from the Capitol. Georgia's House of Representatives passed a hate crimes bill last year, and it has been stuck in a Senate committee ever since. So backers of that bill are asking now, why is the Senate starting over with a new hate crimes bill? Obviously, a lot has changed since that original House bill was drafted. Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan cited the killing of Ahmad Arbery near Brunswick as the reason to strengthen the hate crimes bill that his chamber, the state Senate, has declined to act on for more than a year. Arbery was shot to death after investigators say he was chased down by three white men who were only charged months later after video of the shooting turned up on social media. This is the right time and the right place in history for Georgia to lead on this. Georgia is one of four states without a hate crimes law. The hate crimes bill that passed the House targets eight categories, including race, religion, sexual orientation, gender, and disabilities. The new measure in the Senate has 18 categories. Among them, it adds age, culture, homelessness, military service, and persons exercising their First Amendment rights. It would make a standalone hate crime out of intimidation and harassment, as well as property damage, injury, or death. And it makes each count punishable up to five years in prison or a $5,000 fine. Yes, it's an enhancement. Yet members of the House Black Caucus were mostly unimpressed. They want the Senate to simply pass the bill the House has already passed. We're up against a legislative clock. Yes. And to me, that's the, that's the major issue. Let's not play politics. If we don't really play politics, pass the bill, and we'll be fine. By the legislature's own rules, it's too late for the Senate bill to pass the Senate and also pass the House before the legislature adjourns. So the question here at the Capitol is, which other bill will end up carrying the language of the Senate hate crime bill and whether it can pass before adjournment in eight days.